Hi everybody. Uh, I have one device here. This uh, device I make for my personal use as proposed. So I will show you actually what is this device and what we can do by this device. This device is, uh, you can see here some zip uh, socket are here and one IC is here. This is 8 mil microprocessor from uh, 8 mil ABR from microchip. So this is actually what I am going to uh, use this. So I have multi-purpose uh, programmer. This is the multi-purpose programmer of what I de design. I have different type of microprocessor. This is a 14 pin microprocessor from microchip, ABR. Um, uh, and I have another, this is 8 pin of micro microcontroller also. So this kind of mi microcontroller, we can make the programming here through this uh, double socket. So this is for 28 pin of uh, 8 mil ABR microcontroller. And this is a uh, socket for dual IC. I can make here. So I have this uh, 14 pin here one and plus 8 pin here. So I can do this uh, dual job at one time. So actually this is the things what I'm going to explain you everything. So you can see here the uh, this is the uh, 28 pin of uh, microcontroller and here is a uh, 14 pin plus 8 pin. So I have uh, this all kind of uh, microcontroller from 8 mil AVR. I can make the programming plus bootloading. So first of all, I'm going to, uh, I have already, I'm going to bootload this uh, microcontroller and I will make uh, one demonstration and similarly, I'll do another also. So this IC I have uh, done already here is the ISP program. So now this is uh, microcontroller is as a ISP programmer. So for this one, I have to uh, uh, connect my uh, USB port to my computer here through the USB to TTL programmer. You can see here USB to TTL 232 uh, series. So uh, I will uh, connect my uh, laptop to this uh, uh, this port. So this port will upload the program to the this IC and throw this, this another IC. So this is the so this is the master IC. What is the master we call? And this is the slave IC, which is I am going to upload the program here. So I'll show you the old demonstration. I connect my USB port here on the, uh, you can see the back side, there is a power light is on. So if I make the reset button here, you can see here that this the reset uh, LED is blinking. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to upload the um, bootloader program to this, the slave IC. So this is, uh, I have to zip this uh, socket first of all, I have to put down this lever. So uh, I'm going to now uh, here to the programming side. So you can see here on uh, the programming side what I have to do now. Just this is the one program. So I have to just uh, upload the one bootloading program here. This is the bootloader. So this bootloader I have to select the programmer here, Comport, uh, or this is the especially programming here, Arduino as ISP. So this is the main important thing. If we didn't select this one, and it will not upload. So that's the one I have to select, not to the Comport, because this program is uploaded by programmer, not master programmer, not through the Comport. So I, I have to uh, connect this uh, USB TTL uh, programmer, plus this is the uh, ISP programmer. So just I will go on the uploader, upload, and here we'll see here, this is some light is blinking, still is blinking. So I hope it's uh, done uploading here. We can see here some message on the programming the ABR dude he said thank you it's finished because uh, it's already upload so after that now this I this microcontroller is able to uh, run any kind of program so I can make any I can write any kind of code and I can upload here through any kind of simulator any kind of uh, the code editor so any type of code editor uh, especially we have to write this uh, program to the micro C or uh, this uh, ABR studio, uh, Atmel studio, plus something on others like Arduino platform also. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to upload one sketch file here to my secondary, my slave IC. So this is general uh, example file I have here. This is the basic and this is the blink program, which is the common program for all kind of job. So this program I have to select here and this I have to upload to this program through the ESP. Uh, this is the uh, ISP programmer. So I have to upload through the USB ISP programmer. So I, I, I'm going to upload this program 
So this program I have to say, uh, upload through the uh, this uh, ISP ABR. So this is uh, I have to select here upload by programmer. So you can see here this uh, everything is uh, going on here is the compiling. You can see the status compiling. So once the compiling will be done, then I hope he will be upload the program here in my uh, slave IC. So I'm just waiting here to blink my LED. You can see here the some program code is sending and it's uh, done already. So I hope now it's uh, see you can see it's uh, uh, blinking now is a one second time delay on and off. So successfully it's done now uploaded in the new microprocessor. I make the bootloader and uh, also uh, the SCAS program sample program. So I, I want to verify this program is run by the master IC or the slave. So I will op, uh, I'll just uh, unzip the this. Uh, my socket so you can see here the ic is not run so finally i'm going to uh, uh, remove this ic because it's getting uh, more blinking and it's, it's uh, disturbing to me to make the video so uh, i just uh, remove this ic from the socket so still the master program is there you can see when i make the reset bottom it's a blinking so uh, th this is uh, what i make the two socket here i already explained this is for 28 pin and this is for 14 plus 8 pin dual microprocessor so here in the back side you can see the circuit what i designed here actually this is not look like very good and professional but even though i make it for my test purpose and uh, already there is a, my name is there and printed so everything is clear this is uh, this uh, pcb in the back side i already explained also about this one this is usb to ttl converter what we call the serial uh, programmer also so this is what i am going i am connecting to my laptop here so this uh, device i make it uh, as a uh, this uh, plug and play type also so you can see here some socket is here so male female socket so just i can remove this one easily from the socket here something like this so this is the uh, ttl converter 5 volt and 3.3 volt dual type so just uh, i am going to plug here you see easy to plug also you can see here just i make it here just plug it it will work that's everything so what i designed this one and this uh, finally this project is working well and it's uh, successfully done in the future i will make the another these two ic here this ic is i am i will make the program here also using this same another next port and the next program so uh, you have to i hope you will be continue with me and you will learn something and you will get some information about this video and in the future i i will provide you much more uh, things about this kind of project and another technology. So thank you for watching this video and thank you very much and see you again.